Hi students, so today for your next project, uh, we are going to be making a op art pattern. So as you can see here, this is kind of a crazy drawing with lots of things going on, but it's a really simple drawing to make and it's really fun to color in and get your optical illusion at the end when you finish up, okay? So what we're gonna do uh, first is on this project, you're going to obviously get a new piece of paper. The only thing you need is a pencil and having a ruler is helpful, but not totally necessary. Okay, and how we're gonna start this drawing is we're gonna put a point in the center. And from that point, that's where all of our lines are gonna come from. So it's really important by the end, as we go all the way around, to have an even amount of our, almost our pizza slices when we go around, and you'll see why. All right, so I'm gonna start here, and I'm just gonna start drawing those long pizza shapes and rotating all the way around. Whatever size they happen to be is totally okay. Don't worry about that very much. It's not that important. So you can make some of them larger, some of them can be skinnier, whatever you want to do. But ultimately we want an even amount by the time we go all the way around. And so at towards the end, you're going to see me start counting just to make sure that I have enough. Okay. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine so far. 10. Eleven, and make this one really skinny. Twelve. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So I need to split this one into two to make fourteen. So I have my even number. Okay, perfect. So now I have my paper set up. This is how it's going to work. You're going to pick one to start in. And you're going to go all the way around. And what you're going to do is you're going to put rounded bands using two lines each, starting from the bottom and going up. Now, if some go off the page, like mine did right there, totally fine. Now, here's the trick. You're gonna switch the bands in this pizza shape to the opposite direction. This is what gives us that optical illusion. Okay. And notice how I did them a little bit differently. Doesn't matter. You choose how you want them to be. If you want them to be perfectly kind of rounded shapes, these ones aren't perfect. They kind of trail off to the side. Okay. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to do this pretty quickly so you don't have to watch a really long video. And we just go back and forth. Now I'm going to switch around again to the opposite direction. Uh, how fat your bands are totally does not matter. You choose. And how many of them, really up to you yet again as well. You can have as many as you like. Okay, and so what I would do, I would just keep going back and forth, switching from one direction to the next until we go all the way around. So I'm not going to continue doing this. I would li like you guys to get started and get to work on this instead of having you just watch me. By the time you get all the way back around, as long as you have an even amount, it will work out that you'll have one band next to each other that looks exactly like this. Uh, take a look at the sample that I post. Um, that's a perfect example of how it should look at the end. All right, uh, we'll see you for the next video when we start coloring this thing in.